Here we go with a, another episode of The Ranch here in SketchUp. Uh, today we're going to do the interior of the ranch and the kitchen, mostly the kitchen. Well, at least the kitchen's the one where you're going to have some rules that you have to follow here. But the main thing you're going to be looking at here is the floor plan again. Now you can see that they have it laid out a particular way with shape going all the way around this U shape with an island here. Um, you're more than welcome to do it exactly like this. That's perfectly fine with me. Uh, you can get rid of this wall if you wanted to and can change things up. But um, you will be doing the interior of uh, the house this today, right? So here is our ranch. Uh, I did not do all the doors and windows that you guys had to do. Do me. But uh, let's get to the point where we can actually start designing the inside of this. So again, we use tags so we can turn things off. I'm turning off my roof. Now you'll see there's things left behind. Oh no, we'll fix it. Also, um, if things are going really slow, especially since we're gonna be throwing in a lot of stuff from the 3D warehouse today, make a different file. Just have the interior, copy and paste this somewhere else. I'm fine with whatever. If it does not work all on one thing because it's bogging down your internet, your Chromebook, whatever it may be, put it on a new sheet, all right? But let's make this look the way we want it to. A couple things here, right? Uh, parts of this you'd think would be on the roof, but if I click on this, I look up on Entity Info, it says exterior walls. Fine, fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm going to turn my roof back on real quick. I'm going to go into Sketch, L for Line, and I'm going to just partition out this section here. I'm going to click on that corner, rotate around, click on that corner. It's made that separate. Let's do the same thing to the other side. Click on that corner. Rotate around. Orbit. It is. Click right there. Have things freeze on you. All right, so now that should be, it's still exterior walls. That's still fine. Turning off, go into a different tag. You can't turn off the tag you're on. Turning off the roof. All this stuff is still up here. I'm going to highlight like that with the checkered. Um, highlation, the word. I'm going to choose up here. I'm going to switch it to roof. Now look, it's gone. All right? That part I want on roof. It's on exterior walls. Roof, it's gone. All right? Now I can see my inside of my house. All right? A couple more things here. Our exterior walls uh, are still painted in that manner that we painted the exterior wall here. It's got siding on it on the inside of the house. That's not what we want. So one of the first things you're going to be doing here is partitioning up the wall so that they're interior spaces. So I'm going to go into my interior walls tag, Alfred line. I'm going to click on the corner and just drag it up straight. Make sure it's blue. Make sure it's on edge. Make sure everything is lined up the way you want it to be. So look, mine's already slowing down. All right, so if you need to make a new file, go for it. But I'm going to start breaking up my rooms. And the main reason being, uh, you guys need to paint walls and stuff. So if I go under my materials tab, and I want my kitchen wall to be peach. It's now peach. This is what you're gonna be doing. You're gonna be going around the house and you're gonna be painting all the walls. That's still part of my kitchen. I still want it to be peach. I want that to be peach. Got a peach kitchen, beautiful peach kitchen. But you don't even want this wall to be this tall. I want it to be a uh, lower height because this is the kitchen and I want the cabinets to go around. Whatever it may be, you can adjust this stuff. You can delete that wall entirely. All right. We also, though, need to change our floor. So if you, again, you go down here, if you look at that kitchen, it looks like the kitchen's got its own separate, you know, floor, whatever you want to call it. So we can do that as well. So if I go over here, space bar, L line, if I just go from my corner down here and just start breaking this up because we're going to be putting cabinets on here anyway. You can just start breaking this up however you'd like. If you want it to be some abstract shape, that's fine with me too. And I want this to be um, tiles. I don't see anything under here. So if I go to search, let's tile one of these tile. I want my kitchen tile to be this kitchen tile. Beautiful. All right. And I want the rest of my house or this front floor to be wood parquet yes that's what i want you can make it however you'd like this is your ranch 
so far this is looking beautiful to me all right you're going to go around to each one of the rooms and you're going to be doing that floor walls floor walls for all of them bedrooms you're going to throw beds in you're going to put desks in you're going to put nightstands in all right you're going to do that at all the rooms i'm not going to be worried about that right now you do need to though um for bathrooms to put, put a tub in put a sink uh utility room is your washer and dryer you can by all means pull those in too but think about the floors that would be in bathrooms versus uh bedrooms things like that the main thing though i'm going to spend the rest of this video on is the kitchen because the kitchen we're going to hit some standards in terms of cabinets they're all standard sized countertops sinks all that i'm going to focus on the kitchen right now okay so i'm going to stay in this area right here that should be peach again with the paint bucket little eyedropper and there you go it's peach peach walls in my way whoa that's annoying won't tell anyone lagging out look at that peach make sure you save often seems to be saving for me automatically and that's why it's lagging all right spacebar to get regular uh clicker back so what is it about the kitchen that we need to be standard so if you go into the 3d warehouse we're going to pull you don't have to draw any cabinets they're already drawn for you we're going to use a specific brand that i know uh draw to standards and it's called craft made kind of like the macaroni and cheese all right craft made enter look nothing comes up oh no click on models here as all the kitchen cabinets. they even have full kitchens here so if you like the style here you want to use that island you can import the whole thing and explode it and just pull out this individual things all right they got corners here if i keep scrolling down a touch keep scrolling down a touch You'll notice here's all the individual cabinets that we can start building up and these are all the right size these are perfectly fine for us to be using throughout the entire thing all right i'm specifically going to look for one that has an opening for a kitchen sink more often than not it might be called like a vanity something along those lines there's like larger ones here's the base right you see bases go on the ground wall cabinets go up on the wall beautiful 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 Refrigerator openings, yes, you're gonna to have to put in a refrigerator, you're gonna to have to put in a dishwasher, you're gonna put in a sink, you're gonna put in a kitchen uh, stove. Do none of these take a sink? Ah, ah, ah. Don't worry about color, you can always change color. But look at this. This is triple wide and it's got an opening for a sink, right? Vanity sink. This is probably one meant for a bathroom. I don't care, I'm putting it in the kitchen. Downloading. I'm gonna put this right here. So the kitchen sink normally goes under a window. We have a kitchen window. I'm gonna place it on this wall here. So you'll notice though, it's already snapping to that corner. Great. We do want this to line up kind of well. Mm, eyeballing it is fine. I won't tell anyone if you won't. All right, and look, it's snapped to that corner. We're in. So you'll notice there's no countertop and there's no sink yet. So what are you gonna have to do? I would pull in all your cabinets first. I'm gonna just do one right now because we don't want this video eight hours long. But you should continue pulling in cabinets. Don't worry about the countertops yet. Um, but do pull in like your stove. So if that's the sink, uh, maybe the dishwasher is along the same wall. So plumbing's easier. So let's go to 3D Warehouse. Type in dishwasher. There it is. I like this stainless steel. I'm pulling this guy in. And look, it's the right size. Is it? Oh, he sticks out a bit. We won't tell anyone. I'm going to have it go into the wall. All right, it goes like that. Spacebar to get back to normal pointer. That's fine. Look, but you'll notice it's the same height because again, these are all standards. So we need to put in a countertop. Maybe there's a corner cabinet you can fit in there. Maybe this doesn't fit. You gotta scoot the whole thing down a little bit. It's all fine. Just make it look reasonable and I'll be perfectly satisfied. But we need to put in a countertop here in the kitchen sink. So let me show you that issue or not issue. It's not gonna be an issue. It's gonna work perfectly that uh, procedure so i went to rectangle but before i go into rectangle both of these should have been on a different tag whoops let's do that now new tag i'm going to call this uh kitchen All right and i'm going to be in that tag so now spacebar if i click on this shift click on this both of these are not under my kitchen tag i'm going to click i'm going to put them under kitchen i'm in kitchen now right so if I just go to a different one and turn off kitchen, they go away. Boom, go back in kitchen. All right. So this is what we're going to manipulate now, countertop. I go to draw a rectangle. 
I'm gonna click this back corner. No, it's gonna be easier if I do this from the front. I'm gonna do this front corner here, right? You don't wanna go, these are the drawers, so I don't wanna overhang the drawers. But if I click on this corner, right? And now I go all the way to my back corner that I want it to go to, like that, space bar. P for press pull, there it is, and now I can pull this up. I'm gonna pull this up, I'm gonna say my counter is two inches hot thick. Perfect, look at that. Does my dishwasher still stick out too far? Yeah. Is it okay? Uh-huh, it's fine. Space bar, get back to normal, and then let's put some uh, material on top of this. I want it to be stone. I want it this one. That matches my peach wall perfectly. All right, we now have a countertop. Uh, issue here though is we don't have an opening yet for the sink. So what we need to do is pull in a sink first, shape it, scale it, whatever it may be, and do a cut in our countertop. So 3D warehouse, 3D warehouse, sink, I uh, like this one, it's beautiful. My favorite sink I've ever seen in my life. And look at that, it's too big, right? Perfect. I want it to be too big so I can show you how to fix it. So start by placing this. I'm gonna move this, placing it off in the distance because I wanna make sure I'm clicking on this back corner, whatever back corner, but I wanna be specifically be placing this based on a location of the actual you know, corner of the object that's gonna be on the surface of my counter. So I'm centering this, I'm eyeballing it, right? I'm looking at this front. Might've been easier to choose a front corner but I'm placing it right there, all right? Now, if I go to rectangle, am I still in kitchen? I don't know, I am. I go to rectangle, I click on around that corner. I can go a little smaller if need be, but close to it. I'm still on my face. I'm going to the front. I can see how that's overlapping in the back. Close enough. Now, if I go to P, press pull, and I click on this, I can pull this down and look, I see my sink. All right, so offset limited to two inches. That's what I want, because I just want to get rid of my uh, countertop. So I'm clicking. It even did that. That's still all fine. So now if I actually just click on this and hit delete, it got rid of my countertop in that area. Perfect. Uh, this went back a little bit. It's covering some of our countertop again. All still fine. M for move, clicking on my sink. I'm going to move it up a little bit so that it is in line with uh, the back, right? It may be cutting off corners, all this is fine, but there's my kitchen sink and I need to just throw in some more uh, countertop here. Actually, I need to raise it a touch. So I'm clicking on it again. M for move, clicking on it again. I just need to raise the height up. You there. Is this kitchen sink on an angle? Oh boy. That's annoying. Let's rotate it. Rotate. Corner. Corner. Nope, that's rotating in the wrong direction. I need this thing to be facing blue. The, the. SketchUp is my favorite. Yeah, red. Straight up. But at least looks straighter than before. All right, M for move. There you go. Still not perfect, we won't tell anyone. I'm at least on that same plane. What we're looking for here, center it a little bit better. We won't tell anyone about that gap in between, but we do need to uh, pull a little bit out in the front here. So I'm just gonna do a little rectangle from that corner. I'm still on this face. Make sure you're on this face, so it should be red, like that, space bar. P for press pull, just choose, just choose this little guy in the front. That's fine if I'm overlapping my sink. I can delete these now. Whoopsies, can't delete that one apparently. Just place this a little higher. All right, spacebar, what is that guy on the inside? Delete it, I got my sink. 
Look, is it perfectly placed? No. Is it okay? Yes, it's fine. Look at this distance. You can't even tell. But I got a kitchen sink in now. Right? Did I have to scale this one? No. If you chose a sink that's too big for that area, what do you need to do to scale? Under move, scale is that one. So if you click on this, it's got these green squares. You need to have the green squares. And then if you click on a particular green square in the middle of this object, if you're choosing the top or the bottom green square, it will angle it, right? You need to choose the one in the middle. So if I had it too wide this way, I would choose the middle one that one. If I had it too wide that way, I'd choose the one that's in the cabinet right now. You might have to do the scaling while it's above. All right, but that is the kitchen. You're going to be choosing again, uh, craft made. And you are going to be choosing these cabinets because I know that they're already the correct size. Look, there's even islands in here. Look, this already has the kitchen. You can even pull in this one. I won't tell anyone. It's fine. Whatever one you want to do. What are those? That's like a light brown single. Here, look, this one is another one that would have fit a kitchen sink. Base, remember, on the ground. Base on the ground. Here's a wall one. This goes above a refrigerator. Double high wall. Download this one. This goes on the wall up here. Uh, generally speaking, whoa, that's lag. You need to give yourself uh, enough space underneath your counter. So this will go up to the ceiling. So remember, the ceiling height is uh, eight feet on interior walls. So if you need to draw a line going across, that's the height of my cabinets. I, of course, did not actually insert the cabinet I pulled in. That would have made too much sense. But you are going to be placing wall cabinets at that height. Look, this one already has a kitchen stove in it. Let's download this one while we're at it. All right, I'm going to just place them up there. I'm going to go back to my 3D warehouse. I still want a wall cabinet. That's not how you spell craft. That's still not how you spell craft. And we're going to pull in a wall cabinet. Vanity cabinet. Again, vanity normally will mean that there's an opening in the middle for like a sink. Wall refrigerator. Oh, this one has glass, but it's still a refrigerator. So that means it's shorter, right? So it's going to go above a refrigerator. Uh, double wall. I don't like those handles. Those handles bother me. Oh, this one's got fancier handles. Download. Again, colors don't match. We can always adjust that. So say this one I'm going to put here. All right? I hit that line. I'm where I need to be. Double would have been twice as long, but maybe I don't want that on the side. How do I get my colors to match? Uh, I like this white better than this brown. So I'm going to go to this eyedropper, click on it, and then start dumping. Look, it doesn't work. I knew that was going to happen. I swear. You need to click on it. You need to right click. You need to explode. And now they're individual units. Uh, I might have to do it one more time. Let's see if it works yet. Nope. You have to still explode one more time. Now can I change colors? Eyedropper. Not yet. Now you can. You need the hatch marks. Now, I swear it's going to work this time. Eyedropper. There it is, right? You'll have to do that on a bunch if that is what you want to happen uh, to change colors of things, right? You don't have to change colors either. It would be nice if you did. But that looks like that. Do put in other things like this needs a couch. We need a television. Uh, do, do the whole interior of the whole house. All right. The only one that are specific sizes are the cabinets in the kitchen. Everything else, I don't care if you scale and mess around with. All right. I'm going to put the kitchen stove in while we're here. Why not? Let's rotate it first. All right. So if you have any questions, do ask. Other than that, I need to rotate on the blue axis. There you go. Map to 90 degrees. Maybe if I do this from the bottom. Blue. Green. Red. Got it. First try. All right. Move. M. Back corner. Kitchen. Stove. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Placed. Did it. First try. All right. You need to do things like this throughout, and we are going to place all these things. Remember, make different tags. Have kitchen be one tag, have a bedroom be another tag, so on and so forth. All right, that's all I got for you.
good luck, have fun.